Okay, and now we will jump to the last type of association in Rails, which is the uh, has and belong to many uh, association. So this one uh, sets a many-to-many -many connection between two models. Uh, so it is like the has many through association but there is one difference between those two association the has uh, has many through association uh, sets up the many to many connection between two models via a third model and we saw in the uh, previous tutorial that we have two models uh, if I can I can remember um, we had the um, uh, appointment and uh, physician and patient model so the connection uh, many to many connection is uh, is settled between the patient and physician model via the appointment model so uh, with the has and belong to many association the many to many connection uh, is uh, we can set it directly between two models we will just be using a joining table so we will have a joining table that will contain the primary key of the two models so we will not have a third model so um, in this example here so I have a, that I have illustrated so we have the teacher model and the student model and here we have the joining table which is called students teacher so there is a simple rule here so the joining table must be com the name of the joining table must be composed of the name of the two models and uh, the name here uh, the, the the name of uh, the first model must be uh, the name of the model which start with the with the letter that that comes uh, uh, for, um, before the uh, let me explain it so um, here students uh, uh, starts with an s and teacher starts with t so s uh, alphabetically uh, comes from before the uh, T letter so uh, we put students then teacher if for example we have for example here uh, assembly and parts so the name of our joining joining table will be assemblies parts because a alphabetically comes before the uh, P letter so now let's go and implement this little example he uh, here here in a real uh, real project so um, we will create two models teacher and model so rails t model teacher okay so uh, teacher name same and then With the model uh, student student name French. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, uh, update my database. Okay, so rate db rate db my grade. And now, after creating my models, I'm going to set up the connection between my models. Okay, so uh, a student can have many teachers and a teacher can have many students. So, uh, uh, has and belong to many students. And a student has and belongs to many teachers. Okay, so after setting the connection 
inside our models we will create the joining table so for that purpose we are going to create a migration so rails g migration so here I'm going to uh, create a migration that uh, that itself will create a the joining table so rails g migration so to create a joining table between two models you have to find to follow this syntax so rails g migration um, create join table so you have to uh, type like this create with uh, uppercase C join table but uh, join with G, G, uh, uppercase G and table with uppercase T uh, followed by the name of uh, your model so um, student then teacher followed by space and then you have to type the name of your models again uh, separated by space so here we have student sorry sorry students and teacher so um, I will repeat again so here we are going to create a migration file so a simple migration that will create a uh, the joining table between the, the table those, those two models so here you have to type create join table you have to follow this syntax the the words here must start with an uppercase create join table uh, then you have to add the name of your model uh, here with an uppercase then you have to add the, the name of your models again uh, uh, and uh, separated by space so now I'm going to generate my migration here. Let's go and check our migration file. So uh, as you can see here, my migration was created and uh, it creates a table. So I'm going to uncomment those lines here so we can add those uh, columns to my joining table. Okay, so now I'm going to update my database rate db migrate okay the joining table was created and now i'm going to open my rails console and uh, check my um, my uh, association between those two models so uh, i'm going to create just two objects one is uh, a teacher and the other is uh, a student so uh, student one would be student dot new student one dot student student name so I give it my name okay so this is my first student object I'm gonna save it to my database so save and then I'm just gonna add uh, create a um, uh, a teacher object so uh, teacher to teacher dot new so uh, teacher to here I'm gonna give it a name so dot teacher name I'm gonna call it uh, for example Mr. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Jack. Okay, so I will save this my database. So to check uh, the uh, the association here, I'm going to check. So um, for example, let me test it. So um, I have student one. I change the object. If I want to add a, uh, um, if I want to add a teacher to the list of teachers that teaches this specific student, which is student one, all I have to do here in my Rails console is to type uh, student one that uh, teacher IDs 
and we have only one uh, feature inside our database which has an idea of one so we have I, I have to put one here and as you can see this SQLite uh, query so select teachers from teacher inner join students so there is uh, we are using the student teacher uh, join table that the that we have created here in this uh, SQLite uh, qu query. So now, if I go and check this, uh, this is the connection. Uh, I'm gonna type student one dot teacher. As you can see here, it must return a collection here and it returns only one teacher because I added only one teacher and for the teacher too I can check the list of uh, the students so the students uh, there is ah there is teacher too so I made the mistake here so teacher two the students and it also returns a list of students and there is only one student here so um that's all about the uh, head and belong to many association i um uh, i think uh, this is the last uh, video about the association in rails and this is the last type of association in rails in the next uh, video we will start uh, in the second layer which is the control controller layer and for of the MVC uh, pattern and uh, we will be creating our first controller in rails so see you in that video so bye bye